Breaking, two Kissimmee, Florida cops shot, one killed in ambush, alt-left Antifa has sick message for them. Trump addresses nation alt-left Antifa is expanding its war against Western culture by targeting police now. In what Kissimmee, Florida police are calling an ambush, an Antifa slash BLM sympathizer gunned down two officers there. One officer is dead, the other gravely wounded. Antifa has been preparing for a war against law enforcement for some time. Just this year they stole a large cache of weapons from Crater Lake National Park, in Oregon. Earlier this year, Antifa sent their armed provocateurs into a Dearborn, Michigan police station to inflame tensions between police and pro-Second Amendment Trump supporters. Now it appears Antifa, working with BLM, have declared an all-out war on police. ABC News, Osceola County, FLA, one suspect is in custody after two Kissimmee Police Department officers have been shot to death, according to officials. The shooting took place in the area of Cypress and Palm Street around 9.30 p.m. on Friday. According to ABC affiliate WFTV, numerous law enforcement agencies were called to respond to the scene, including the St. Cloud Police Department. Orlando Police Department, Orange County Sheriff's Office, Florida Highway Patrol and Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. The suspect at this time, the names of the officers have not been released. Sources tell WFTV the officers were responding to a call for shots fired when they were shot and killed. The officers are both men and we are told have less than 10 years of experience, according to WFTV. And via Orlando Sentinel, Police Chief Jeff O'Dell reported Officer Matthew Baxter was killed and Sergeant Sam Howard was shot and is in grave condition. The uniformed officers were responding to a call at 9.30 p.m. in the area of Palmway and Cypress Streets. It breaks my heart to have to come speak to you tonight about another senseless tragedy, O'Dell said. At least two people were taken into custody and police were searching for a third suspect. When asked about whether the officers were ambushed, Odell said it was too early to say, but it was leading toward that. He said both officers were husbands and fathers. This is a tough time for each and every one of us, Odell said. Howard was a 10-year veteran of the department and Baxter had been with the Kissimmee Department for three years. Osceola County Commissioner Fred Hawkins Jr. said he couldn't believe the news. It's just awful. We're praying for the families of these officers and for the whole KPD family, he said. The last officer killed on the job was in 1983 after being shot. Information about those in custody was not immediately provided. Carlos Santiago, 37, was driving with his wife and daughter back from dinner on International Drive when they saw dozens of patrol cars speed past them on Orange Blossom Trail. They were just flying, he said. It was pretty obvious something bad had happened. The area where the shooting happened is in McLaren Circle. It's fairly well known as not a great area. It's pretty run down compared to the rest of the city and it's known for having more crime, Santiago said. FHP said there was heavy police activity in the area and told people to avoid the area. There was also a large police presence at Roscoe's late Friday. While the media waited for Odell to address the public in front of the emergency entrance at Osceola Regional Medical Center, two women were being escorted out of the building by two police officers. They were both crying and huddled before they saw the lights and cameras outside and dashed back into the building. At least four Osceola deputies were stationed by the south entrance to the hospital wearing body armor and carrying heavy guns, standing next to their patrol cars. Alexis Nieves, 27, was driving to see a friend when she got stopped at a red light on Orange Blossom Trail and U.S. Highway 192. She saw a few cop cars then dozens started arriving to the intersection. She looked to her left and saw an officer with a long gun, though she saw a person being loaded into an ambulance. There were helicopters circling the in the area. Emergency crews were doing CPR and trying to resuscitate the person. Nieves didn't know it was an officer who had been shot. 
I just started crying, she said. I didn't know what to think. It's so sad. Nieves said she saw said more than 80 law enforcement vehicles flooding the area, along with fire trucks and EMS vehicles. I was in the middle of it all and couldn't believe what was happening, she said. I called my friend in tears. I've never seen anything like that. Messages of support flowed out from across the country. On its Twitter account, the Orlando Police Department said, Please keep at Kissimmee Police in your prayers tonight. The Orange County Sheriff's Office also offered its own message of comfort, saying, Our solidarity is with the Kissimmee Police as they deal with this tragic loss. President Trump, an ardent supporter of law enforcement, tweeted his sentiments. Antifa and BLM are well known for their hatred of police and Western culture. They are now working together to undermine the Trump presidency and all of America. Even Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's son is sounding the alarm bell as to what going on with Antifa and BLM, saying, The thugs of Antifa and BLM hum hate my country, and America too in my view, just as much are getting stronger and stronger and becoming super dominant in American universities and public life. One of Antifa's websites offers a number of publications that promote violence, including a 36-page manual called The Mini-Manual of the Urban Guerrilla, which advises readers on how to conduct urban warfare, with sections on sabotage, kidnapping, executions, and even terrorism, according to the Daily Caller. Antifa, BLM, and Democrats are promoting an all-out war against the institutions of our government, against President Trump, and against all Americans. These heinous crimes they are committing must not be tolerated. It's time to stand up and deal them a death blow by speaking truth to their treasonous and terrorist acts. We don't need no